Hi, sous chef. How's it going? Good. What are you prepping now? Um, it is ground beef. Yeah, and? Onions. All right, so we're getting ready to uh, make a pot of chili, but we're gonna cook the, the beef and onion ahead of time. I have a, a joke for you. Oh no, I'm scared. What did the cheeseburger call its daughter? Patty. <laughs> Okay, we're going to uh, chop an onion. We're going to get this onion ready for the chili. So just uh, going to share a few little tricks. So it's our, the sous chef already peeled it. So first thing I'm going to do is cut it in half. Then I'm going to place it uh, on its side because it's a lot, it's a lot more stable when it's uh, flat side down. I'm going to do a slice like that through the middle. So you have a slice there and a slice there. Do some lines and you get nice small pieces of onion which work really well for what we want to do. Okay, and then I'll just chop it up this way. Oops. We have that one. We'll do that one more time with the other half. So once again flat side down. I'm gonna go right through the middle. Watch your fingers, and then uh, almost following the lines of the onion, making some nice vertical cuts, and then we're going to do some cross-sectional cuts going this way. And then do some more, and voila. You know, and it's my lucky night because my eyes aren't watering and they usually always water cutting onions. Using the uh, flat edge of the knife, not the blade edge. Just gonna push it right into the meat. I always find if you're uh, cooking ground beef, adding some onion or garlic or something like that just gives it a lot more flavor than if you were just to cook the beef by itself. So we'll do that and um, we're good. All right, here we go again um, with our chili. So last night we uh, cooked up the ground beef and the onion. That's what's in the container next to the uh, slow cooker. Uh, we've already started chopping the onion and carrot, or sorry, not onion, the celery and carrot. You can see that in there. And our sous chef here is uh, chopping some more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So all the salary is in the uh, the slow cooker. We put uh, three stalks in there. We're putting two large carrots in, also chopped up. Now, if you have a slicer, you can slice your vegetables. Um, what we're showing you here is really everything you can do with uh, just having having a knife and um, it's kind of your main tool. But always being careful with the knife because of uh, fingers. Carrots are always tricky to cut. You want to cut them lengthways first. So similar to the onion, um, cut it lengthways so you can get that flat edge and then it's easier to do the, your chopping when you have the flat edge against the cutting board. Yeah. Carrots are tough. Um, and I like when I'm working with vegetables, sometimes cutting off uh, a bit and then 
kids can have an easy snack even there while you're cooking because sometimes when you're cooking they start to, to feel a bit hungry and then you got these fresh vegetables that they can snack on. So he's chopping away at the carrots. Uh, I have a joke though. Uh, what do you call the security guards of a Samsung shop? Me. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> hey, I'm just going with it. What do you call a nervous zucchini? A zuck zuck. Not bad, not bad. Good guess. An edgy veggie. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right, here we go. Carrots are, are going in. Wonderful. We're going to then take a moment here and open up. Uh, we have canned tomatoes, canned beans, canned tomato paste, some diced chilies. So we're going to open those up and put them all into the uh, slow cooker. And uh, we'll be back with you in just a moment. All right. Cans are open, we've already put the beans in. So our little chef here is going to put in the diced tomatoes. Oh yeah. Being fancy, two hands here going at the same time. Perfect. Tomato paste. Excellent. Tomato paste just helps to give it some thickness. Dog hair. Yeah, we have a dog and we tend to find the odd dog hair in just about everything we do. Excellent. And what's the last uh, item you're putting in Green there? Green chilies. Green chilies. Green chilies. So this is a little bit of a secret ingredient, completely optional. Those, uh, but they do add some some good flavor to to a chili. So you can see here, we got a whole bunch of our, all our canned stuffs in there on top now of the uh, uh, diced carrots and the uh, diced celery. You can see our cans here. We've already cleaned out the uh, the bean cans. We'll clean out the other cans because these cans are all recyclable. Uh, little chef, right behind you is the ground beef. If you oh, want to yeah. take that, scoop it into the pot. All of it? You bet. That's a lot of onions. A lot of beef and, lo and onions. It better to scoop it in. Otherwise it'll come out in one big kind of lump. So there we go. Heavy. Use those muscles, come on. It's my thumb though. Uh -oh. It's just white stuff. Onion. What's that white stuff? Probably just a little tiny bit of fat from the hamburger after sitting. Even though we drained the fat, there's sometimes a little bit left over. Mm. That's it. Just like frozen to the bottom. But it's not frozen. So you want to take the big spoon once you get that all in there and mix all those ingredients together. And we'll be back. Hello. Okay, let's add some uh, extra flavor now to our chili that's now coming along. We have some Worcestershire sauce. Just to add that all in, it's roughly a tablespoon, but I see uh, that we're really low on it. 
Shake, 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 yes. Perfect. Let's add a tablespoon of the uh, vinegar. Today I have apple cider vinegar. We're going to add a teaspoon of the cumin powder. Ooh, that smells good. And uh, I think we'll just add the rest of the chili powder. Once again, getting, I'm low on that. Need to buy some more. Good luck. Mm, yeah. We're finding with the virus right now, finding things like spices tend to be quite difficult. Excellent. So we'll put that all in. Salt and pepper to couples. A couple twistaroonies of the salt and pepper. Really, you just add salt and pepper to taste. So if you're adding it on your own, if you have fresh ground, great. If you have it already ground, that works too. And you just add what uh, you think is going to work for your batch. I ate a peppercorn today. It burned. Ooh. All right, let's give that a mix. Now we're making an uh, extra large batch of chili because I like to freeze it. It's perfect for a rainy day or if you have a really busy day and you just need a quick supper, you pull some out of the freezer and there you go. It's, it's a nice, hearty, healthy meal. Mixed in? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's put the lid on. We'll take the spoon out. Let's plug it in. Making sure it's off before I plug it in. And we will turn it on. Uh, we'll put it on high actually because it's uh, in the afternoon right now. So on high, it'll take a you know a few hours if you have it on low. Just take you know all day. Now you don't have to use a slow cooker. You can easily make chili um, on the stove in a pot. One thing you're waiting for is just to ensure your things like your carrots and celery are all done. And we will leave it here. Um, gotta love my old slow cooker. It is, it is a timeless piece. You can see the handle's missing, but it works like a charm. We'll see you later. All right, we're back after uh, having the chili in the pot for several hours now. What are you gonna do now? Ooh, okay. It's so hot, man. Ooh. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hot, yeah. <laughs> it's steaming. Let's see what it looks like right now while we wait. Oh yeah, it looks good. All right, is it cool enough for you to give a little taste test? No. <laughs> it 
It's good. Okay, temperature hot, right? Yeah. Still very hot. Okay, what about flavor? How is it? It was perfect. Okay, all right. What's next? Corn. Adding in some corn. So we got about a cup of corn. If you like corn, add more corn. If you don't like corn, don't add it at all. So this is us and just some frozen niblets. My mouth is burnt. Okay, let's mix that in. It hurts, man. Sizzle, sizzle. I'm a witch, stirring her pot. What would be a boy witch? Oh, what are they called again? I have no idea. They're like men. They're like. They start with M. Huh, oh, okay. All right. Good work. All right, here we go. Chili is complete. We actually found out what a male witch is called, which is? A warlock. A warlock. Okay, some trivia there for our, our chili making uh, night. So there's our big batch of chili. And then there's what one portion would look like, added a side bun, and voila, there we go. Enjoy!